Hey guys, Gossip and Reactions, Marie's take. Street pursues Florida over new age restriction for workers at adult entertainment business. Let me tell you guys something. But let me finish reading the article first and then I'll give you my opinion. A 19 year old in the club where she worked as a stripper have sued Florida's attorney general and two local prosecutors to stop enforcement of a new state law prohibiting adult entertainment business from employing people who are under 21 claiming it violates their constitutional rights. Serenity Michelle Bushy claimed in the lawsuit that she lost her job at Cafe Risque in the Gainesville area after the law took effect on Monday since she is younger than 21. The purpose of the law was to deter human trafficking, according to Florida lawmakers. The lawsuit was filed Monday in federal court in Tallahassee on behalf of Bushy, the owner of Cafe Risque and two adult business in Jacksonville. It seeks a permanent <clears throat> injunction stopping the law from being enforced claiming it violates the First Amendment right to free speech and 14th Amendment right to equal protection. Besides Bushy, eight other adult performers who are older than 18 but younger than 21 are unable to work at Cafe Risque because of the new law, the lawsuit said. As with similar performers around the state, Bushy earned her living through her art while providing entertainment for the benefits and enjoyment of her audience. The lawsuit said plaintiffs have a clear legal right to engage in protected speech of this nature. The new law also prohibits hiring cooks, DJs, waitress, and security guard who are older than 18 but younger than 21 or even use workers in that age group from third-party contractors hired to perform tasks like air conditioning, reapers, or carpentry, according to the lawsuit. Look, I don't agree with all the new laws the governor has been put in place, but this one, I agree 100%. I will tell you why. If you cannot be drinking under the age of 21 what makes you think it's all right to go to work in the environment where there was so much alcohol if you are 19 and another point that i take from that if you are 19 let's say you just finished high school why don't you have any other ambition to go to school to educate yourself to find a way to make a great living a to become a constructing human being constructive human being to society excuse me why stripping is your only way out you want to see what i'm saying again those microwave easy money cars showing your body dancing at 19 shame on those parents who raised those kind of young people since they were little you had to tell them look this country has so many great opportunities you can go to school you can become somebody you don't have to show people your body you don't have to be dancing on somebody to pay you that's prostitution 101 that's not right i'm glad if you're not over 21 you cannot work in a place like that if you are 18 and 19 even though you cannot drink until you're 21 i have a high probability a high chance somebody gonna be sipping something nobody's watching they do whatever they want and the club's owners the younger the person is i'm sure more business for them so why should they go with that new law they will be losing business okay again i am happy they put that law in place Maybe now, instead of thinking stripping while you're in high school, you'll be thinking of getting a nursing degree. You'll be thinking of getting a, a cosmetic license, something. Okay? You're 19. You're so young. You're still growing. 
and all you can see is dancing at a damn club shame on y'all man i mean gosh and, and and then people like this are saying well the immigrants are taking the job away you have no ambition to educate yourself when the immigrants come here they want to go to school they want to send their kids to school so the line of immigrants becoming successful in America is way higher than original people here because people here, without a love and respect, I know a lot of people are going to come curse me out, whatever. I just want to make sure I was born in, from in Haiti. So you want to curse me based on my country? I was not born in Africa. Let's go. Curse me out. But I'm just telling you, immigrants are doing way better than most of people that were born here because they don't take advantage of what this country got to offer them. Immigrants want to go to school. They want to better themselves. They want an education. They want to make sure they have a great job to help people from back home. People here have no, no will, no dreams. I'm not saying all of them. them are some of them, especially the Gen Z generation, I, they don't care. If they can sleep until 12, until the sun goes down, Nobody cares. I think the mother and father are doing a bad job raising these young people. They want a million dollars, but they don't want to work for it. Like, how are you supposed to get one million dollars, but don't work for it? Guys, since I've been here, I was 16. I did my high school here in some college. I have been busting my ass, working hard as a single mom of four, trying, making sure my kids have a roof over their head. Making sure my kids eat, making sure they dress, making sure they are good, they are healthy. And it wasn't easy as a single mom of four. I had some tough time. I would have loved to go back to school to become a registered nurse. But because my children were so young, I couldn't do it. It was really tough for me. You guys born here are in such a great hand to become whatever you want to be but you want to take the easy route the easy road to go dance your ass off thinking this is the way you're going to make it you have a brain use it stop using your body and some of them are so young having so many cosmetic surgery done unnecessarily because if you're that young your body's still growing young ladies should not be having surgeries until you are married or until you have children that's when everything start getting out of place you're 19 you're 18 you're 20 and some of the parents are doing a pain for the surgeries to have breast augmentation to have the back part bigger nose like what are you doing you are a part of the problem the parents are part of the problem let the kids grow naturally stop paying for surgeries stop giving them the right to do so they are so young it's not right enough is enough stop it let them know they are beautiful just the way they are help them out don't take their life away from them look at kylie jenner without makeup she looks unrecognizable she looks way older than what she is in reality why so many surgeries for what i don't care how much money you have how much fame you have you just do too much to your young body. You did not allow your young body to develop. So when it comes to this law, I am glad they did that. By the time you get to 21, I hope you had already found a career. You had already thought about going to school, get some kind of degree to survive. Not just selling yourself, not just going dancing and sweat your, your, your ass off for a dollar. It's just not right. Wake up and smell the coffee. This is a great country. This is America. People will die to come here, to work hard, go to school, and become somebody. And you guys were born here and not taking advantage of the situation. Subscribe. Let me know how you feel. Thank you for watching. Bye.